In this video, I am going to show you how to make a paper server for the Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up paper MC. Now enter, and here you'll find papermc.io, papermc home. Click this link here and this will bring you to the Paper MC homepage. So now, simply go ahead and click the blue downloads button here, and then it will show you with all the downloads here for Paper MC, but simply go ahead and choose Paper. Now, it will show up Get Paper 1.21.8. So to get point 10 here, simply go ahead and click Toggle Experimental Builds for 1.21.10, and now it will show up. One day, this blue one here will be 10, but for now it is here. So once you have this 1.21.10 showing up here, click this button here and it gets you the file. So that is the first step. So basically, paper 1.21.10 here is here, and here it is a .jar file. So if you can't run this, what you will have to do is get yourself Java for Windows and you can do this by going to a new tab, going to your search bar, typing in JDK25, enter, oracle.com here, this is the website you want, Java downloads, and accept all, scroll down, JDK25, click Windows, find x64 installer, it's the easy one here, and click this here to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to run this. I will have a tutorial in the description showing you exactly how to do this, but it is quite straightforward. So once you have this, simply go ahead and like close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine. And now you want to make an area for your new Minecraft server. So the way you do this is simply by doing like right click somewhere, new folder. This is where your server will be, just so it is nice and easy. Here for the name, I'll, we'll just call it server. You can call it anything you want. So there you go. And now we have our server here that we can just easily like leave, just move anywhere, copy paste to a new drive or whatever. Doesn't matter. Here we just have our server here. So what you want to do is simply go ahead and double click this. You should be in the folder. Once you're here, go to downloads, select your jar and copy it. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. Here you copy pasted this jar in your new folder and now you can go ahead and double click this and it will start up the server. Except it will stop at EULA because we have to say EULA equals true for it to continue. This is just a Mojang thing. So now it is stopped and we now have this EULA.txt file. Simply go ahead and double click it and here it will say to look at EULA here, so simply go ahead and go through this if you didn't, if you like did not do this already. Of course, I went through this quite a lot before, so I'll just do true here. And now just go ahead and actually just save this. You can just do close save and now it is saved. Okay, so once you did this, you can go to servers.property here and you can just change like anything you want here of like the minecraft server so yeah you can just go ahead and go through these for example it is quite straightforward there's a wiki for this some of these are quite confusing but like the most important ones like the player amount the ports the view distance the motd here whatever so i just changed this to like 200 players so we see that there is a difference and you can also go ahead and add some plugins you can go like on Curse Forge or like Mildrin for that. And then you can go ahead and add a world. So if you add a, like a folder and it's called world or something, it will just run automatically because here the default world for it is world. So it will not create a new folder called world if there's one already. So you can go ahead and mess with this to get maps for your server as well. But basically here, just double click this once you're done. And then you can just go ahead and wait a tiny bit, and then we can continue. So basically, here everything is loading up, there you go, our server is finished, 
And what you want to do now is simply go to Minecraft and try out the server and see if everything is correct. And yeah, so here we have the latest release 1.1.10. So just click play and all you have to do now is simply wait for Minecraft to open up. And this will be playable on anyone on the same device of course, but on your network as well. So let me explain. So if we go to multiplayer and I just do add server, this is the server IP here. So if I just, I'll just call it just name, why not? Doesn't matter. And this is our server, 200 players, join this and our player will show up here and here. There you go. And we're now online. So yeah, this is kind of how this works here. Here we have our Minecraft server. It's playable, of course. And if we do like up uh, FinB and whatever, we are now a operator. We can now use this. There you go, creative. And other people can join on the same network at least for now. So if you go here and like go to your like settings for your Wi Fi, so let's just say that we are here and we want to go to the settings for the Wi Fi. Here is your IPv4 address, same goes with Ethernet. You just copy this and you just add it to Minecraft. So if I do this, I'll do one here, both are joinable. So anyone on the same network will be able to join this and your device can. If you want people from other networks, let's say like in another country to join this, you will have to port forward. I will have a tutorial in the description to actually go ahead and port forward because this is like a whole video in of itself. It takes quite a long time to explain, but you basically just want to go to your router and just allow the port of Minecraft, which is 25565, I believe. Here it is. And you just add this as a port. You add your device's IP address as like the IP address that you want the port to be opened. And just you want to send your what's your IP like on Google, whatever. It will show up a number and just add this to your friends, whatever, and they will be able to join. So that is kind of the idea here. But like, you will have a tutorial in the description if you don't know how to pull it forward. It goes in way more detail than just this. So yeah, that is at least how we make a paper server for the Minecraft Java version 1.21.10, as you can see up here. So yeah. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.